We are live. We are live now. Welcome back to the magazine show. We have yet another guest in studio today, and I'm sure that everyone who is anyone knows who I am talking about. With hits and collaborations with, I mean, some of the world's top artists from writing and working with and producing for such names as Chidinma, um, Debanj, Two Face Dibia, Mo Logo, Davido, Rita Ora, Calvin Harris, and, and music played on BBC One Extra, Power FM, Capital FM, amongst others. I can only be talking about the one and only producer extraordinaire, Mr. Silverstone. Hello, How thank you. you. Wow, that's such a big, you know, that's such a big intro. Thank you. Gotta you gotta let people know, <laughs> man. We gotta let them know who thank we you. got in the studio. Thank you. How are you thank doing you. today? I'm really good. I'm blessed, you know. Y you are indeed. Thank you. You are really indeed. Thank you. We're here today, obviously, mm. to talk about some new music from you. Yes. But yes. before we get into all of that, I mm -hmm. mean, for those that don't know mm -hmm. just who you are, I yeah. mean, the man behind Silverstone. <laughs> it's I know I know who is he? Who is Show he? me where, where is he? Is he? <laughs> <laughs> the ghost, <laughs> the invisible man, but the man behind mm. the legend, should yeah. I say, Silverstone? Oh, wow. I mean, where did you get started? Where did all of this start from? Um, you know, it started from when I was a very very young boy in London. Mm -hmm. I used to play keyboard at home, and uh, my older brother um, used to make music as well mm -hmm. you know and um, I then went to Sierra Leone because um, I went to school there okay. and I used to play keyboard a lot mm -hmm. you know and um, my dad had a piano in the house so I used to play um, you know piano and listen to songs and play along and then yeah once I came back to the UK um, I was like music is what I want to do you know so I started playing in church mm -hmm. you know where most musicians start you know and the rest is history, you know, God really blessed my talent mm -hmm. and allowed me to kind of develop my ear, you know, to be able to listen and to be able to play in key and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. after that, I was just like, yep, music is what I want to do. That's that's me, man. I can't, I tried other stuff, but it just didn't <laughs> work for me, man. <laughs> you know, work. my passion was just in the music. So what else did you try apart from music? Gosh, there was a time <laughs> I was like working for Domino's. Okay, cool. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. There was a time I was working for Pizza Hut. Yeah. Um, I've only done food jobs, man. You know That's what? it. Like I, would, I, I used to like work up in Nor in in um, Kenwood House. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I live in Croydon. Oh, so wow. that's, that's, that's like, a track. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I used to do that every Saturday. It was crazy. Mm. But yeah, you know, like, I thank God that I was able to be bold enough to say, you know what, my, my uh, talent will make way for mm -hmm. me. So mm -hmm. I just had to, you know what I mean, just drop all of that stuff that I didn't have a passion for. Of course. Yeah, and just do my music. Of course. And I'm sure it feels like rewarding to know that what you're doing is your passion and it's paying the bills. Yeah. As well. I yeah. mean, because a lot of people kind of go to like a nine to five and yeah. they're bored. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're sitting at their yeah. desk and mm -hmm. thinking that they were on an island somewhere yeah. or doing something else. Yeah. But you get to do this full time. Yeah, it's a blessing, you know. My mm -hmm. music has been able to take me across the world as well. Mm -hmm. You know, working with artists such as Black Twang and um, Emmanuel Jal as wow. well. We did a lot of tours all over the world, you know. I DJed with them for them. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, it was a blessing to be able to see other sides and educate myself mm -hmm. that, you know what, this music, as much as you might not think it's working here, it's working over there. So mm -hmm. it kind of made me realize that musically, you shouldn't be f afraid to express yourself mm -hmm. because there's going to be someone, a pocket of people, you know, that are going to love what you do, mm -hmm. you understand? So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really, it's a good blessing, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's, a, it's an amazing thing, you know, to be able to push what you love and what you doing and that's why I've even you know done well finished writing my EP now called Transitions. Of course yeah. we can talk about that <laughs> I mean, I'm sure loads of people are looking forward to that yeah. I mean the last time that I saw you live mm -hmm. I saw you at um, Afrobeats in Jazz Cafe yeah and I had a little interview with you we talked yeah, a little bit yeah. and um, you had a, a CD called The Resume yes <laughs> I know. Yes. And did, you, uh, did you get a copy? Of course, you gave me oh. a copy. You personally I, gave it to me. Oh, just <laughs> I know it was a long time ago. Yeah, it was a little while ago. Sure, you know. So, uh, of course. And mm. I mean, it was literally a resume because yeah. all of the songs were like uh, music that yeah. you produced, that you yeah. artists that you've worked with. I mean, who was the first major artist that you worked with? Oh my gosh, who was the first major mm. artist? 
It might have, to, oh my gosh, I don't know, that's a good question. Because <laughs> it's, it's weird, a lot of the people I've worked with, I mean, apart from the remixes mm, latter mm -hmm. that I've done that have been big names, I haven't had a relationship. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people I've had a relationship with, you know, like when I did a song for Sway, for instance, yeah. Sway was really big, you know what I mean? And, and that was just, but then I had a relationship with him, I, you know, so it wasn't just, you know, it wasn't just, yo, I'm going to send you a beat, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, we used to mm -hmm, chat and stuff, mm -hmm. so... You know, but yeah, there's just been a whole heap of artists. You know, Black Twang is one of the biggest because obviously he's like a pioneer of the UK hip hop scene. Of course, of course. Um, working with, you know, working even with Don Jazzy. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a big, huge Nigerian huge. producer <laughs> worldwide. You know, um, yeah, there's there's quite a few. There's quite mm -hmm. a few. Um, gosh, Mark Morrison. Mark Morrison being, you know what I mean? Like, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Two Face being one of like the legends as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Two Face is probably one of the ones that I was like, because he's such a humble guy and mm -hmm. I learned a lot from him as well, you know, just as an artist, just, you know, how expressive he is mm -hmm. and how he's not afraid to just do what he feels. Mm -hmm. And I and I've a lot of the artists that I love, you know, like Sting and, you know, big artists like that, Paul Simon, that, you know, they, when you listen to their music, they're just not afraid to be them, even though they're experimenting, they're mm -hmm. experimenting, but they're also comfortable. Mm -hmm. They're not trying to be something else. So yeah, that's that's what I really learned from these artists as exactly. well. Exactly. And I think it's good that you mentioned that because it's good to stay true to who you are. Yeah. Because I think if you're trying to change your style or change Well, there's only are, one you, in it? Exactly. So promote I mean, it. Exactly. Because <laughs> they can't clone it. Promote it because they can't clone it. Exactly. I mean, let me find out. How did you make the transition from being behind the scenes yeah. to deciding, actually, I want to throw my hat in the ring, too. <laughs> I want to be an artist. You know what it is, right? <laughs> I've always been singing and putting backing vocals on songs, but I never really had the boldness to do it as myself mm, because mm -hmm. I was always working with so, so many fantastic artists. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm just going to be doing, you know, the same thing as they're doing and da-da-da-da. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh, I'm not sure. But then it got to a point where I was like, you know what, actually... I had this burning desire that, and all these songs mm -hmm. in my, you know, in me that I was like, I need to get them out. You know, mm -hmm. they need to get out. They need to get out. So it got to a point where I was like, you know what? I have to do this. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I have to be true to myself. Otherwise, I'm just going to be sitting, making beats and not fulfilling my full potential. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? Uh, let me do this. I can do this. And plus, I've been writing for other people, you know, singing hooks for other people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, like even the Sarkodie track is is his track, but I've done a hook and of a course, verse. Yeah. You know, things like that. So, like, I was, I thought to myself, is that time to make the transition as mm. an artist, producer, mm -hmm. you know, and just do it without fear and just enjoy doing it. And I'm enjoying it right now. <laughs> and I'm glad that you're enjoying it because, mm. you know, a lot of the most successful artists in yeah. the world started off behind the scenes, literally. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about people like Luther Vandross, yeah. Mariah Carey, Sheryl yeah. Crow, yeah. even our own Tiwa Savage. Yeah. You know what I mean? All these people were backing vocalists. They yeah. were behind the scenes yeah. before, you know, they decided, actually, you know what, I'm going to step into the forefront. And I tell you something, a lot of the time when you start from behind the scenes, you're able to see things that other people can't. Like a lot of the time when you just are thrown into the, you know, the mm. limelight, you don't understand what happens behind. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it can mess with your head. But if you understand that, you know what, there's so much preparation and mm -hmm. this can go wrong and that can go wrong and you have to make sure things are tight, you know, from the back end. Mm -hmm. And then you decide to go in front and mm -hmm. it helps you to keep a level head. Of course. You understand, you know. Like, you see it, just like you said, there's so many artists. Even Tupac was a backing dancer. Of course. <laughs> I mean, everybody's <laughs> you know I mean? the running like, man in the back. There you go. But then he's one of the world's, you know what I mean? Of course. Greatest rappers, as people say. So, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It ain't, it's no problem starting from where you start. I'll tell you what, ain't no shame in, in exactly. starting from the bottom. I mean, no, man. I mean, starting from the bottom, now, now you're here. here. <laughs> exactly. exactly. I mean, we both here for exactly. real. Exactly. Because we both literally, yeah. you know, started yeah. from somewhere. And everyone that has had a success for story mm. has had to start from somewhere. Yeah, I mean. it's the best, man. Mm. It's the best. You know, it's not been easy. You know, and like for me as a producer, one of the things I decided to do was invest in a studio and mm. stuff like that. And I used to make music in my mom's house, but. It got to a point where I was like, you know, she can take the noise, I can take the stress. <laughs> so I was like, all right, cool, that's great. Uh -huh. So let's now, you know, and I've been, uh, I had a studio in Croydon, and now we've built another one, an even bigger studio. 
So you know, it's it's part of the it's part of the transition and mm. part of the growth. Mm -hmm. You know, so now we we have two studios in in the complex. You know like filming areas and everything you know in fact preach was shot Great. around there and this jockey video was shot around there so like my whole thing was we got to, i've got to invest in what i believe in mm -hmm. just so that if others see it mm -hmm. they can invest in it too you of understand course. you got you know you got you got to do it first so. of course you have yeah. to we have to it's that. now the new single bust yeah. my head uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> tell me a little bit about that because i think that that is it just uh the title of it is just comical yes it's just you're looking for something to head. just take care exactly you know? don't Explosion. take sweet lady and hit it hit you with your head no no we no. drink sweet lady we don't hit people no 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 it. sweet lady but, uh, sweet, sweet lady the drink well, of course drink yeah. of choice yeah. well bust so, my heads about sweet ladies sweet lady. <laughs> <laughs> so we're bursting heads with sweet lady <laughs> there you go Black -black. yeah <laughs> no, i like that but yeah um of course, Bust My Head is it's the first single off of my Transitions EP, mm -hmm. which is about to drop. And that song is just about women busting your head with the way they are. Basically, okay. it was a song that I was like, look, every man is going to be, unless you, you don't like women, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you're, going, you're going to see something that's going to bust your head, okay. whether it's going to be... <laughs> You know, whatever your vice is, mm -hmm. whatever you love, whatever, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, makes you tick. So that's what the song was about, you know. It's And I love it because for me, when I hear it in a club, it just, it, everyone that shocks out to it does some crazy dance move <laughs> just because the way the rhythm is built, mm -hmm. you know. And it's just one of those songs that just makes you want to go mad on a dance floor. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you just bust your head in a, with a dance move or whatever. Yeah, it's one of those songs. So, yeah, it's, 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 um, it's, it, I would say it's the most raunchiest track on the EP. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't think there's anything that is, uh, that and I don't think that's raunchy. Naughty. Yeah, <laughs> but I want it to, I wanted that to come out, mm. and I wanted it to, uh, and I love the visuals. You know, shout out to um, Digo Visions mm -hmm. and Nang TV for shooting that and directing it. Um, yeah, like. They, they got exactly what was in my imagination. In mm -hmm. fact, that's a cleaner version. Really? If you see the other edit, hey. it is crazy. If you see, shout out to Salisa Showtime and UK Black Rose, you know what I mean? And yeah, yeah, and Sade for hitting, you know, for doing that because mm -hmm. the way they were dancing in the video was crazy. Really? It was like some dance hall thing. What? Like the, the director's <laughs> cut. Okay. I can't <laughs> play, I can't play that on TV. No, no, man. Not, so not I was on, like, you know, let, let me cut 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 <laughs> no, no, and no. edit it so it's nice. So at least you Family know Family friendly. Yeah, hmm. so you just see a millisecond then it'll change to something else so your parents don't get angry. I know. I thought you were watching, hey, we this guy calling like, up. Ah. Is this what you're showing on the yeah. Man show? Ah. Yeah. But it's funny, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, when you go to Africa, that's what you know, people shake their bum bum. Of course. Of they course. have big bum bums, so they shake it. Even Every, if they even everywhere. the market woman, when she's selling her things, <laughs> that's part of her marketing. She shakes it. Yeah. <laughs> banana, banana. <laughs> Exactly. So, you know, we take all of those humors and put it in the record. Mm. So that's bust my head, man. So you can add comedian to your, oh, <laughs> your love man. list. Oh, man. You're the second person I said this. It's true. <laughs> I it's feel bad laugh. now. I'm going to no, be no. serious. No, no, don't be serious. I love, I love when people no, are just No, but you have to, man. Life is too short. We have to enjoy it. And yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's bust, bust, that's bust my head. So what can we expect from you? From this new EP, transitions. Wow, this new EP mm. is exactly that. It's transitions. It's it's different. So basically, my whole vision with with my music. You know, I'm an African artist making music. Not necessarily an Afro beats artist, mm. but I'm an African making music. So mm. I'm going to give you music from an African's point of view. From me, you know, being Sierra Leonean and Ghanaian, mm -hmm. and growing up listening to different genres. You understand? Mm -hmm. So. I have music in there that is inspired by drum and bass, inspired by reggae, mm -hmm. inspired by like hip hop. And when I say hip hop, I'm talking more the Jay Dilla era of hip hop. Okay. You know what I mean? The common type mm -hmm. of hip hop. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, obviously your Afro beats, your, your, you know, your high life. So this Transitions EP is going to have a mixture of all of that. You're going to hear the songs and you're going to be like, ah, this guy did something on this type of beat. Like mm -hmm. you're going to hear it. And you're gonna, you know, you, you'll hear songs and you'll be like, okay, before I come in, you're gonna expect Common to be rapping, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or you know what mm -hmm, I mean, or Talib, mm -hmm, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you're just gonna hear some Afrobeat guy singing on it, and then you'll be like, ah, this, this is not supposed to happen, but it's working. Do you know what I mean? And like, that's, that's good. And that's what I'm trying to do. So that's what mm. you'll get from the EP. I, I think that that's good because it shows that. Mm. 
as an artist, your um, artistry cannot be boxed in. Yeah. And I think that you can't really be labeled either. No. Because you mean your 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 back catalog yeah. of things is just so diverse. Anyway, yeah. and the people that you've worked with is yeah. so diverse. Anyway, you have to pull from I, I, different genres. You know, mm -hmm. like the kind of analogy I have for it is like someone who, you know, someone who's learned like ten languages, mm. you know, and then. You might be telling them off, oh, why are you speaking Chinese? Just mm. speak English. That's all you should speak. But mm. if you know how to do it, do it. Of course. You understand? Of don't course. put in, don't, don't. For me, I'm like, you know what? I want to do, I want to be able to do different. Mm -hmm. You understand? I want to, I want to push the borders so people don't think this is the only way Afrobeats can be, you know, can be um, represented. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to open that door so we can see, you know what? Yeah. We're gonna do it in this way and in that way and in that way and mm -hmm. you understand. So yeah, it's it's that's what transitions is, and that's me as an artist. Mm -hmm. You may hear two songs that sound the same, but then you may hear fifteen songs that all sound different. Sure. You understand? That's but true. then they will all sound good in their own you understand, in their own element. Not that, oh yeah, he's trying to do this mm -hmm. or he's trying, trying to do this. Yeah. You know sometimes you hear you might hear a reggae song and the guy sounds weird on it or something. <laughs> Doesn't sound like mm, mm, <laughs> sounds mm, like mm, he's mm, trying to be Jamaican mm, 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 instead of just singing from his heart. Exactly. Understand? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's 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 what transitions is really. Excellent. Yeah. Now, so how does your mom feel now that you've you're She's out of the house? Just in my life. <laughs> but you're in your just. own in your own space. I mean, I think it's really good when you have parental support. Does mm. your family support you? Um, I'm going to be honest. Mm. They didn't in the beginning. Mm. You know, my mom wanted me to go to this, uh, to go to university. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, just as an African parent. Of course, yeah. You know, and it was difficult because for me. I knew what I wanted to do from a young age. Even my dad, you know, as well, you know, he didn't understand. But mm. he's from an he's an academic. Okay. You understand. <laughs> so it's mm -hmm. very different. You know, I, as I've grown up, I can understand why they didn't understand it. Because mm -hmm. they're academics, you know. But for me, I'm a creative. Mm -hmm. So I had to... I had to follow, you know, I had to give, I give praise to my headmistress, mm -hmm. Mamioni, who saw my talent, and then my pastor, Tom Nate, who mm -hmm. also saw my talent mm -hmm. as well. And just told me, just, if you want to do this music, just do it, you understand? Mm -hmm. and, and he encouraged me a lot, you understand? So that was more the beginning, you know, and, and my brother, mm -hmm. and my, my brothers and my sister, you know. But like they actually gave me kind of the guidance to say, oh no, just do it. Don't worry, just do mm -hmm. what you you know. What I mean, mm -hmm. if this is what you want to do, do it. Understand? And then obviously, just starting to make that journey. Then my parents started to come. You know, mm -hmm. you know, before my dad passed, he was able to see the brand new studio, mm -hmm. and that was such a blessing. You know, because he could see like, ah, this boy used to just. I wasn't sure about this music. Now he's of coming course. into the premises. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it's always. The journey is never easy in the beginning, of course. you understand, but you have to keep going. You have to always, even if your closest are not around you, it's mm -hmm. fine. It's not mm -hmm. their dream, it's yours. Mm -hmm. So you have to do it, mm -hmm. you understand. So once you realize and once you start making that journey, then, yeah, you, once, you, once they see that you're serious with it, then mm -hmm. they begin to get serious as well. So, okay. yeah, that's, you know, parents, but, man. But that's good, you know, mm. and I'm, I'm glad that your parents um, were... Um, yeah, my mom loves it now. Every time, she says, hey, hey, where's the money? I say, no. <laughs> Bring the money. <laughs> where's the money? <laughs> and, and, you know, I think, I think it's even, even greater that, um, you know, God rest your father's soul, yeah. um, that he mm. was able to see, you know, yeah. you go on the path that you, you wanted yeah. to take. Yeah. Because my parents are academics as well, yeah. and sometimes they don't really get the fact that, okay, you're presenting and you're doing music. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think it's good that you have that support. Yeah, you know, I think it's, it's really, important. Really good. It's yeah. important. Mm. But I think it was good as well that I didn't mm. as much because it made me, it's like trying to, like, I can't swim. So, like, you know, when I'm in the water, I'm always looking for a little armband or something. You understand? But so I'll probably never learn how to swim <laughs> with those armbands unless I take them off. True. You understand? Of so it's the same thing. Without the, you know, my parents saying, okay, we're going to pay for you to go to music school. And mm -hmm. da, 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 da. It made me say, okay, you know what? I got to do this. Mm -hmm. I have to get up and do it. I have to see how I'm going to make this work as mm. opposed to, okay, mom, I, I need this. I need to do that. Or dad, I need to do this, need to do that. They just said, hey, Charlie, you need to read your book read your book <laughs> Tell me uh -huh. that. but then they but then when you understand that this is your own dream and mm -hmm. you have to do it then it's even better because it allows you to you know 
um, get the courage and the strength to just push yourself. Of course. So then the ones, so then the ones around will see it and they will respect it more. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's 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 a good. It's it's been a fantastic journey, oh, you know, yeah. and it's only beginning. Of course, it definitely. Because it's is the only. transition. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love how you slipped that in. You're, you're trying to take my job. <laughs> plug, plug. <laughs> yeah. No, but you know what? I was gonna say to you. You have had like worldwide success. How oh, does wow. it actually feel to be flying the flag for not one country but two yeah. countries? Well, three actually, because yeah. you're flying the flag for the UK, yeah. and you're flying the flag for the um, Sierra Le yeah, Leone Sierra, part, yeah. and for the Ghanaian part. Yeah. Have you ever thought of going maybe back to Ghana or back to Sierra Leone and maybe doing a track in your native? Um, which, I've, which I've, one do you speak? I only speak from, Creole. Okay, okay. I don't speak Cree, unfortunately. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I've been to Sierra Leone quite a few times, mm -hmm. um, worked with a few artists there. Um, and um, one my, one is my good friend, Anis Halloway. Okay. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're, like we're always looking to go back and invest in what's happening in Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Ghana. I was in Ghana, I think, two years ago. Okay. In fact, I've got a new song with. Um, one Love the Kubolo, I don't know if you know him. Um, fantastic um, rapper as well. You guys should check him out. Um, yeah, so obviously I've been working with a lot of artists in Ghana. I've done a song with Atumpan okay, already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Sakodye, mm -hmm. which is on Preach. And now the most recent is One Love's um, Never Go Leave Me, which is on mm -hmm. YouTube and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So yeah, I mean, I am always connected and always ready to go back and, you of know, course. you know, just unfortunately in Sierra Leone at the moment, they're going through the Ebola of situation. Course, of course, of so, course. So yeah, it's, mm. it's, it's a very difficult time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, in terms of, you know, Ghana, we're always there, always back and forth, you Excellent. know? Yeah. Excellent. It's a blessing. Well, I'm sure we're going to hear loads more from you. I know uh -huh. this is only the beginning, as yeah, you say. Yeah, it's only the transition. It's only to, you know, only you're, the transition. you're trying to take the words out of my mouth. <laughs> it's only the transition. <laughs> only the transition. There you go. <laughs> Hashtag transition. Exactly. So where can people find you on Twitter, Instagram, and yeah, things like that? At Silverstone Beats is my Twitter. Okay. S I L V A S T O N E. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at Silverstone is my Twitter. At Silverstone is my um, Instagram. Okay. At Silverstone is my Facebook. Do you know what I mean? You can go to my website as well, silverstonemusic.com, and download my resume, which is a warm up for you now for yes. until the tr until the <laughs> transitions come out. Yeah, um, yeah, that's 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 where you can catch me, you know. And also, I'll be at doing a show at. Um, I think it's Club 10 in uh, East London mm -hmm. on Friday. Okay. So you guys come through, do you know what I mean? Come through, let's have some fun, you know, and there's some more shows as well coming up. I will be doing my EP launch on 11th of November. Okay. Yeah, so you guys come through as well. I'll be telling you so later on where it will be, do you know what I mean? We're, we're just finalizing the um, venue at the moment, but it may be at the world-renowned Ronnie Scott's. Oh, wow. Yeah. I would love that. You know what? Yeah. Even if I don't get an invite, I'm going to gate crash. Oh, no, no, no. There's no, there's no need. You I'm won't be crashing gate no crash gates because there's no gates because we open them up. Okay. So there's no gates to crash. It's just you just come okay, in. Okay, then. I'll just push through. Yeah, do you know I'll what I mean? push everyone out the way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cool. So, yeah. But, I mean, I, like I said, it's been a fantastic year, you know. Excellent. Been working on, um, we just came back from Kenya doing Coke Studio. Yes, I saw that. I you saw know, that. and then we just did... Um, Nigeria, um, football legends in mm -hmm. Nigeria as well, and also we're working on um, Star the Winner Is, which is another singing mm -hmm. TV show just like X Factor. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we've been grinding a lot, you know. So, you have, and yeah. we're gonna see a lot more from you, but exactly. For now, yes, we want to know about Bus My Head. Oh, please, please tell let me. the viewers know yeah. about Bus My Head. You can yes. introduce your new video, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> tell me what's good. It's your boy Silverstone, and this is my brand new video. Bust my head. Enjoy. 